Mr Bounce by Roger Hargreaves Mr Bounce was very small and like a rubber ball. He just couldn't keep himself on the ground. He bounced all over the place and as you can imagine that made things rather difficult. Last week for instance Mr Bounce was out walking when he came to a farm. He climbed over the farm gate and you can guess what happened next can't you? He jumped down from the gate and bounced right into the duck pond. Bounce went Mr Bounce, splash went Mr Bounce, quack went the ducks. The other morning, for instance, Mr Bounce was in bed. He woke up and jumped out of bed and you can guess what happened next, can't you? He bounced right out of his bedroom door and all the way downstairs. Bounce, 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 bounce. That happens quite often which probably explains why Mr Bounce leaves his bedroom door open every night. After he had picked himself up, Mr Bounce went inside his house and sat down to think. Bounce. Mr Bounce bounced off the chair and banged his head on the ceiling. Bang went Mr ba Bounce's head on the ceiling. Ouch, said Mr Bounce. This is ridiculous, Mr Bounce thought to himself, rubbing his head. I must do something to stop all this bouncing about, he thought and thought. I know, he thought, I'll go and see the doctor. So after breakfast Mr Bounce set off to the nearest town to see the doctor. He was passing a tennis court when he tripped over a pebble. Bounce, he bounced, and he bounced right onto the court where two children were playing tennis. You can guess what happened next, can't you? The children didn't realise that Mr Bounce wasn't a tennis ball and started hitting him with their tennis rackets backwards and forwards over the net. Bounce, ooh, bounce, ow, bounce, ouch. Poor Mr Bounce. Eventually, one of the children hit Mr Bounce so hard he bounced right out of the tennis court. Mr Bounce bounced off down the road towards the town. Oh dear, he said, feeling very sorry for himself. I've been bounced black and blue. A bus was coming down the road and Mr Bounce decided that the safest place for him to be would be on it. He got on and sat down, still feeling more than a little sorry for himself. The bus drove into town. The bus stopped right outside the doctor's. Mr Bounce stepped down from the bus. And you can guess what happened next, can't you? He didn't step down onto the pavement outside the doctor's. Oh no, not Mr Bounce. He stepped off the bus and onto the pavement and bounced in through the doctor's window. Dr Makewell was sitting at his desk enjoying his mid-morning cup of coffee. Mr Bounce sailed through the open window and landed. Well, you can guess where he landed, can't you? That's right. Splash went the coffee. Ouch, squeaked Mr Bounce. The coffee was rather hot. Good heavens, exclaimed Miss Dr Makewell. After the doctor had fished Mr Bounce out of his coffee and sat him on some blotting paper to dry out, he listened to what Mr Bounce had to tell him. So you see, said Mr Bounce finally, you must give me something to stop me bouncing about all over the place quite so much. Hmm, pondered the doctor. After some thought, Dr Makewell went to his medicine cabinet and took out a pair of tiny red boots. This should do the trick, he told Mr Bounce. Heavy boots, that should stop the bouncing. Oh, thank you, Dr. Make you well, said Mr. Bounce, and walked home wearing his red boots. Not bounced, walked. That night, Mr. Bounce went to bed wearing his heavy boots, and then he went to sleep. The following morning, he woke up and yawned and stretched and bounced out of bed. And can you guess what happened next? No, nope, he didn't bounce down the stairs. He went straight through the bedroom floorboards and finished up in the kitchen.